my name is Queen Ezzy and these are my Sims. Welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 Family Dynamics Challenge. And you may be asking yourself, who is this stunningly beautiful old lady? This, my friends, is Ignavia. <laughs> That's right. She is now an elder. She is gorgeous. But yeah, she's an elder now. I cannot believe it. Can you guys believe that? She, we have actually watched her literally grow her whole life from a little bitty tiny newborn baby all the way to an elder. She even has a daughter um, and has a husband. I cannot believe it, y'all. But yes, our Gen 2 heir is finally an elder. And this is her. So I gave her and Elliot, as well as her dad, Jackson, because he's still hanging on with us. I gave them all makeovers because they needed it. <laughs> and we are going to jump right back in game. So today's episode... Um, there may be a little bit of drama, but we are here. We are having a, the game recognizes it as a dinner party. That's not actually what it is. This is the only way that I could get this to come to fruition though. What this is, is, um, Sydney getting everybody to get, oh man, not her going into labor. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was like, this is her this is her getting everybody together, letting them know that she's pregnant. And when I say everybody, I mean her, um, Alan, who's Kylan's dad, um his girlfriend, Kylan's dad's girlfriend, Kaylin. Kylan, like everybody is supposed to be in here eating and nobody is in here eating for whatever reason oh my gosh y'all this game just decided it was gonna do what it wanted to do i don't even know ignavia was i mean not yeah ignavia was in here she left so anyway i'm gonna carry on with my story <laughs> Sydney has, she told Kylan in school, and of course Kylan was terrified, but, you know, he's understandable. He, he, he wants to be supportive. He wants to do the right thing. He wants to be there for his child, his unborn child. Now, on the other hand, oh, there's Ignavia. She came back. Don't know where Elliot and Jackson are, but I can't be bothered. On the other hand, Alan over here is totally against um my guy here kylan he's totally against this whole thing he's like you know what i'm he's too young they're too young to be parents he's too young to um throw his life away um with the baby he's not gonna have any part in this girl you're gonna eat pineapple upside down cake you just ate here <laughs> look at him he's panicking um, but yeah, he's like, no way. This is this is too much. I'm not gonna. We're not dealing with this. And you know, Elliot and the um, adults, the other adults here. Ah, y'all, come on now. They're involved. They're upset. Everybody basically is. You know, tensions are high. And um, Kaylin's trying to reason with um, Alan, and it's just not working out. And then, oh my gosh. Guess what happens? Sydney breaks out into labor. <laughs> so I'm going to have her go to the hospital to have her baby. Now, I did install um, a mod, the, um, the birth mod, and... I was going, but you have to use that when they're in their second trimester. So she was way past that. She's in the third trimester. So we're just going to have her go to the hospital. We're going to go with her and she's going to bring her mom because Kylan is not going. Are you sure you'd like to leave? 
please. Yes, she's having a baby. This is an emergency. Yes, she's going to leave. But yeah, so um, Kylan and Alan and Kaylin, you know, Kay Alan takes takes Kylan and leaves. Um, and so... Ignavia goes to the hospital with her daughter. Edison! Hey, y'all. Remember our cousin Edison? Guess what? He is a doctor now. Awesome. <laughs> Feel free to make yourself comfortable and ask one of our obstetricians if you need anything. You can try doing some labor-inducing activities such as taking a walk or doing an exercise. Oh, this is the mod. You will go into active later labor once you are 10 centimeters dilated. Okay. So let her use the bathroom because she has to go. And do we do we not check in at the front desk anymore? Okay. I have to try to figure this mod out, but we don't have no exercise ball and we can't buy one so i guess we can go for a walk though so we can try that where is she okay she's in the bathroom um here we go let's go for a walk how do we know when we're dilated properly is what i want to know Ooh, what's the saxophone Wait a minute, girl. What you doing? Okay, there she is. Aw, she looks so sad. Cheer up, baby. It's gonna be okay. Ooh, you outside. It's freezing out here, Sydney. Real life taking a, a walk in freezing weather. Oh, as you all can see, I gave her a little bit of a makeover, too. Just changed her hairstyle a little bit. Tried to make her look a little more mature because she's in between that stage of um, teenager and young adult. She has a birthday coming up pretty soon. So I wanted to make her reflect more so um, of her age than a, a young teenager because she's not a young teenager anymore. She's she's getting up there. Contraction pain. Sydney's contractions are definitely uncomfortable. Uh-oh, y'all. What is this mood lit? I'm trying to read her mood lit. It says they're definitely uncomfortable but manageable. Um, For now, perhaps she should rest up or take a walk before moving becomes unbearable one way or another. She should definitely take advantage of a calm before the storm. Well, she is walking. Or at least she was walking. Okay, <laughs> they kill me putting on. She doesn't like easy listening music. <laughs> nah, girl. Um, they kill me with these whole snow boots on. Okay, Parker brought home some. Okay, um, ask for an epidural. Oh wow. Okay, ask to check. Come on, check, check dilation for us. Oh, excuse me. So we can ask the chick to see how dilated she is. Are we dilated enough, Doc? Um, okay. I'm gonna just take into account that since they're cousins, that's why they hugged. Otherwise, that is weird. <laughs> What's, what, what, what are you doing? Uh, what? Okay, riding our bicycle through the hospital. Sure, that's not. <laughs> Absolutely, there is nothing wrong with this. There's, there's nothing weird about this at all. I mean, everybody busts out and ride about and rides their bicycle while they're in labor at the freaking hospital sure sure sydney perfectly normal right perfectly normal who what i guess because this 
her preferred bike, but okay, we had a a a, a, a MC command error here. But let's okay. Don't 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 ride your back your bike back. Don't ride your back your bike back. When you get ready to come back, let's not ride our bike, okay? And let's speed this process up. Like, what up? Okay, she's riding her. Oh no, she's not. She's walking. She's walking. Cool. What is she doing? Is she about to go sit on exam bed? What was she about to do just then? Okay, all right. Now she's passing out. So, yeah. She's feeling scared. Contractions have started. Pain is more than Sydney expected. She's having trouble understanding what's happening to her body. And her mind keeps racing to all the ways things can go wrong. Well, passing out probably isn't a good sign. So, sure. <laughs> There's that. Hmm. Okay, hon. Did you get a good nap? What do we do now? Oh, let's do a breathe a breathing exercise. Wait, where's our mom? I'm so caught up with this wench left because of course she did. I was so caught up though with her um with making sure she got to walk and and do everything else. Oh, poor thing. That's right. He, he, who. <laughs> That's the breathing exercise you all see on TV. <laughs> Isn't that always the ones they do? What? Oh, she's going to call her. Yeah, call her mom back here. And then ask. Oh, no, her cousin left. Great. Okay, let's ask him to check the dilation. Mom, where did you go? Come, she's slick. You know what? I'm not finna play with this game today. All I want, <laughs> all I want is for her to give birth. Is this her bike? Why is her bike out here? And she's passing out again. Okay. That's totally fine, dear. Pass out. Okay, so the breathing technique made the contractions a whole lot easier to bear. Sydney's putting a focused mindset. Um, She's beginning to feel like she just might breathe through the whole thing. Okay, what was this other moodlet though? I'm done. Why is this taking so long? That's what I'm saying. Sydney knew it would be painful, but this, she did not sign up for this. Contractions are intense stabbing pains that's making her feel irritated, and she can't help but snap at everything and everyone around them. Anything to distract herself from the pain. Just get this baby out already. Right. That's what I'm saying. Sleep. Okay. This really is realistic. <laughs> Cause she would have been popped the babies out by now <laughs> if we if I had just the regular uh you know just the gameplay way she'd have been popped the baby out okay so she is sleeping she is tired what's next though I definitely want her to get some sleep you know let's speed this up a bit get her some rest it's three o'clock in the morning what's this is she about to go into recline okay i want her to sleep some more okay good her her sleep is in the green in labor trying for babies go time nine days all right doc what's up Um, we're at the hospital. What do you mean have baby at hospital? Hold on. Yeah, she already here. <laughs> Hold on. Ignamia. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're here. Okay. 
Um, we need to see how many centimeters she's dilated. How many centimeters is she dilated? Okay, he's checking it now. I don't know. Something happened, I guess, the last time he wasn't able to check. So we're checking now. What does that mean? Three centimeters? All of that and we're only three centimeters dilated? Are you serious? Okay, let's go for a walk then, Sydney. Come on. We got to walk it out. Well, damn, why are all three, all four doctors in the room with us? Walk it out, walk it out. Now walk it out. Girl, this is this is something. Come on, girl, get them babies up out of there. You're only three centimeters dilated and you did all of that. Come on, walk them babies out. And tell them they need to come on out. Them, they, he, she. I don't know if it's more than one. You know what I'm saying? They, like, I just know it's twins. So I hope they don't speak that into existence. <laughs> I don't know what it, what it is. If it's a he, if it's a she, or where it's multiple. But whatever the case may be, tell, tell the baby or babies. Hopefully, it's just baby. Oh, my gosh. If she gets twin, if, if it's multiples, y'all. Oh, I swear. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry if she gets multiples. I hope it's just one one child. Um, Let's see. Contraction pain. We felt that before. 59 minutes. Okay. Probably, I wonder if we could have put the exercise ball in our inventory and brought it with us. Because we can't buy anything on this lot. I'd have to use cheats to go into build mode. Which I don't feel like doing right now. <laughs> so we're going to see this through y'all. We're going to see it through. Hopefully she has her. Uh, she gives birth in this episode. Come on Sydney girl. You already messed up the whole entire. Everything that I had going for this episode. <laughs> But anyway, yes. So let me talk this the rest of it out through with you all. So basically, she told um, Kylan at school. And Kylan, of course, was supportive but scared but wanted to do the right thing. Wants to be there with her and the baby. And so, you know, you, you guys saw where she told her parents. And the parents thought it'd be a good idea to just... Um, don't leave me. Oh, no. She doesn't want to be alone. She says the contractions are too much and it's making her sad. Well, unfortunately, dear, your mom, you know, she just, she's not here. <laughs> okay. She's sitting on the bed. Let's ask him. Oh, I think I have to click on her. Or maybe I have to click on the bed. Yeah. Ask him to check dilation. How far are we, Doc? Are we any closer? Are we any closer to being dilated? Okay. I would like to wait a while before I check. In the meantime, try to relax. Okay, honey, just relax. <laughs> no, you can't have anything to eat. Let me see. She can sleep, though. I'm going to have her sleep. But anyway, so um, her parents decided, hey, let's get together. Let's get his guardian. Let's get his parents together. And let's have a talk. So they had, they invited over. This, this The scene you saw was them inviting them over for dinner. So they can all sit down and have a conversation and decide how we can move forward from there. Well, Alan was to the point where he was not ready to listen to reason he was not willing to have any part of it so he gets upset tells you know them that we're not we're not involved in this and you know <laughs> elliot and and jackson and Xavier are like oh yes you are 
because she didn't get pregnant on her own what do you mean you're not involved in this and he, alan snapped back i don't have anything to do with the fact that you all can't keep your your daughter in check and she's out here spreading her legs for any and everybody or god knows who that oh whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute blows were about to come okay that's like oh you're not gonna talk about my child like that first of all and second of all it takes two to tango brother maybe they both should have decided to put on a damn condom and Ellen's like, or maybe you should put your damn daughter on birth control. I was like, ah, oh, that's it. Get out. Get out. Get the hell out of my house. Get out right now. And in the midst of that, she goes into labor. <sighs> you know, it's already stressful enough. You know, tempers are high. Emotions are high. And it just was too much on the body. She was stressed. She went into labor. And we're here. Hope you all like that uh, reenactment that I just did. <laughs> Hope it painted a vivid picture. So, yes, Alan does not want him or his son involved because he wants his son to be focused on the career. And that's the career of sports and becoming an athlete. So he has no interest. And he is, of course, taking his son and they are... You know he's going on about his business and sydney has he won't even let his son come to the hospital to be with sydney she's texted him you know she can't get an answer she's called she can't get an answer she texted him she even reached out to him on social bunny and i'm gonna cheat her hunger just a little bit she reached out to him on social or tried to look him up on social bunny to find only to find out that she's been blocked. So she is completely devastated, like completely devastated. She did not imagine, you know, in a million years that this would happen, even though she knows that um, Kylan wants to be there she she's kind of confused as to why he's not trying to step up and stand up for her more six centimeters girl six centimeters i'm gonna pause right here you all and i'm going to um come back when she's actually ready to give birth okay y'all i think the man said it was we, it, we were fully dilated so he said, talk to one of our obstetricians. Up, oh, give birth. Let's give birth. Let's give birth. Is that, wait, did I do something wrong? Was I not supposed to? Hold on, let's see what she about to do. Where is she? She's going to go sit on... An exam bed. Another one? Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Going to the surgery table. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. Aw. Oh, no. She's like, push, you can do it, you can do it. Not her freezing, girl. Shield, you inside the building. Oh yeah, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but let's, let's watch. This is something, <gasps> oh look! Okay, first of all, the name is Meadows. <laughs> A baby girl. Oh, yeah. I hadn't even thought about names. I'm crazy. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about baby names. Okay, let's see. Let's name her. So, we did Sydney after horror movies, right? And Sydney likes collecting things. And she likes, um, she's very happy-go-lucky. Um, hmm. Oh, I know. We'll name her Jewel. Yay! 
Hey, Jewel. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. What did I say, y'all? What did I say? I said, if they had twin, if she had twins, I was going to cry. I swear it better just be twins. Because <laughs> if it's triplets, y'all going to see the end of this episode. <laughs> Okay, so she has a boy and a girl. The the girl is named Jewel. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, what do we name the boy? You know what name came to mind? Jasper. So I think I'm gonna name him Jasper. I like that name. Jasper and Jewel. And this name needs to be Meadows. Okay, that was it. Twins, y'all. What the? Look at Jasper. He already a little stinker. Oh, that is cute. They give her the baby and she holds them. That is too cute. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait, what's going on? What's what's um? Okay, we got three babies, but she's snuggling up with two. Okay, this is cute, not gonna lie. Not sure if I'll keep this mod in my game, but it is very cute. Is this, is this our baby or? Okay. All right, there they are. There they are. Okay, Sydney, congratulations. You have just given birth and your son is over here bawling his, uh, you can't change, oh. Excuse me, ma'am, can you move please? We're trying to change our son's diaper, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. You still okay, maybe he needs to be fed. I can't believe we what you must really be feeling good, girl. She did a whole ass backflip. Did y'all see this shit? <laughs> I swear this game, y'all. <laughs> the Sims crazy. Do you hear me? They crazy. Jewel, no. Okay, okay. We're going to feed Jewel, too. We're, we'll breastfeed her, too. We're trying to feed Jasper. Did y'all see that whole ass backflip that that lady did? What's wrong with these Sims? Okay, Jasper, you can stop crying now. We're going we're gonna to tend to Jewel, okay? All right. We're getting her fed, and then we're going to go home which pretty soon we are going to move out <laughs> because there will be no space for them um at parker's house so yeah we have to move out and we're gonna do that as soon as she gets finished feeding them um we're gonna be prepared to move Okay. All right. Let's go home, please. Um, okay. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to click go home. I know, girl. I know you, but your knees are awesome. Like she's in the green. <laughs> Uh, okay, you gonna ride out on your bicycle to go home from the hospital? Sure, just ride your bicycle through the hospital. No problem at all. You know? Ride it on home. Pause. <laughs> I 
All right, y'all. Gen 4, you guys. We are on Gen 4. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe we are here already. Gen 4 has been born. Um, now, Sydney still has a lot, a lot to do um, to get her goals completed for her generation. But, yeah, we are on Gen 4, y'all. That is crazy. Okay, Sydney. Yeah, put your bike up. The babies are here. They're floating. That's okay. Oh. Uh, she's hungry, poor thing. So I tell you what. Um. Yeah, let me just let her eat. And we're going to take all of them with us. So Parker can have her house back. And her and Dwayne can live a happy life together. And it's time for Sydney to uh, move out and, you know, <laughs> start life. Start raising her kids. I hate that um, Kylan is not going to be a part of, you know, what's going on. I hate that. But, you know, this is a lesson learned by Sydney. Now, once she gets through, the house that she's going to... I'm going to have her actually... What is the... Is it the home? Home and... I'm looking for a household. This phone thing, I still have not gotten used to. I thought it was under here though, but I guess not. The way you okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, you're on the computer. We're just gonna use the computer to move household. Let's split from household and move. All right, so oh, wait, before I do that, hold on a second. Oh my gosh, Jasper, we just freaking fed you, greedy boy. He's hungry, and y'all are some gluttonous kids. Okay, let's feed, let's feed them before they get taken away. We need to feed them, so we'll feed Jewel, and then we'll feed Jasper. Y'all are gluttonous, 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 gluttonous. Oh, and y'all, I don't know if I even explained the 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 reason why I named them why what I named them. So Sydney is a collector, right? She has the curator aspiration and um, she's also, you know, she she creates things and crafts things as well. But when we're talking about collectibles, I'm thinking Jewel because, you know, you can collect crystals and all of that stuff in this game. So Jewel came to mind. And then you can also, you know, buy and collect flowers as well. So and Jasper is a type of flower, if I'm not mistaken. So I was like, oh, Jasper. Okay, she couldn't get to Jasper. So let me see where I can put him where she can get to him. Okay, looks like he can go right there. So let's go ahead on and feed him before he gets taken away. And then we're going to move. <laughs> Oh, a furry distraction. Parker is tearing, 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 tearing it up at a local tournament when a random mascot from a different game starts hovering over her. The green fur is distracting enough, but when the mascot starts leading the crowd in rank, rank, raucous cheers, Parker is faced with a tough decision. Embrace the attention or send the fur ball. Man, embrace that attention. Aw, she presses her headset and tries to focus, but an overexcited fan crashes into her and spills energy drink all over the keyboard photos of the resulting bra quickly go viral which what doesn't do much for parker's reputation okay it was a small loss parker small loss it's okay okay then we have to change his diaper oh my gosh like i swear this little boy is greedy <laughs> greedy come on girl Change his diaper. All right. Are y'all good now? 
Can we move now? <laughs> I'm trying to move. All right, y'all. Split from household. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanted her to put her the piggy bank in her inventory. Yeah. Okay. Now, split from household and move. I hate how they keep their their gown on. Like they don't change out of it. Like change out of this gown. Okay. All right. She's in one of her new outfits. This house is so small. Oh, I was like, where is she? <laughs> okay. Parker, you can have your house back. Yes, we're going to have to move with no funds. And this is what I have concocted. So when Hestia died, she did leave money for my girl she's going to move here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to set free real estate but i'm going to subtract the money all right yep she's also moving into an unfurnished house and We're going to calculate the money up that Grandma Hestia uh, left for her. And also, you know, we have the, the seeds that uh, Grandpa gave us as well. So here's our house. Oh, why is it dark? <laughs> well, you can't really see it that well. But oh my gosh, this baby stay. Oh no, this is, this is Jewel. So I say he stayed pooping his pants. So here's the house completely empty. This is the kitchen here, living dining space here, bedroom here, bathroom, another bathroom, and then upstairs there's another bedroom. So she has absolutely nothing. <laughs> um let me pause because I can't stand the I cannot stand the crying. And let's calculate this money that Gran Oh shoot, I didn't see how much her house was, so I know. You know what? I'm, I know what I'm gonna do. So let's calculate the money that Grandma Hestia gave her. So that's, and this is from the plants and everything that she had at the time. And that's this. 47.52. Um. And then eight fourteen six ninety six. Sorry, I'm calculating. I'm calculating. Trying to go as fast as possible. And then okay. So in total, she left her forty four thousand eight hundred forty four. Uh, eight. All right. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> My hotkeys, I need to change my hotkey. I need to change it from a, a number key to a letter key. <laughs> or a key that I never use. Uh, what's wrong with her? What are you crying about? <sighs> Is that the problem? Are you are you lonely? What? What is what's wrong? I have no idea why you're so upset. That's not it. Are you hungry again? Oh no, what? Oh my gosh, y'all. When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. Is that the problem? Was she hungry? She still seems to be upset. Like... Okay, Jacques. Okay, Jacques. We're going to get you taken care of too, buddy. We got to go buy some vet treats. But that we will save <laughs> for the next episode. So this has gone on quite long enough. 
So I'm going to end this part right here. If you enjoyed the content that you saw in today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.